Gene, how are you? Pretty good. Glad to hear you. Is that wife still living with you? Yeah, she's with me. Well, she's a very understanding, tolerant woman. I've always had great, uh, great uh, respect for her and great understanding and sympathy for her. Just have to live around a guy like you very long. Well, is it, is it growing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was going to say, well, I reciprocate the feeling. I wondered how yours live with you. <laughs> We have to work too much now. We've got a lot of snow on the ground. We can't get to work. That's right. I've been reading uh, uh, about your concern on the uh, bombing. Yes. And uh, I can very well understand because it's uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, uh, a major line of inquiry and uh, uh, practically every meeting of uh, 3040 that we have had and. Uh, I understand the basis of your uh, concern and doubt and perhaps fear. I thought that uh, if you had the information I had, that you might be assuaged somewhat and relieved somewhat, uh, and at least uh, maybe you could suggest a better alternative or something else. Uh, and I asked uh, last night that they try to get Max Taylor, who I believe to be a reasonably good combination mm -hmm. of a diplomat who understands some, something about uh, military matters, because uh, uh, after uh, he uh, uh, left here and went to the Lincoln Center, uh, and we got in our troubles, uh, the president called him back here and had him sit there from the presidential desk and veto and say no to lots of things. And uh, then finally, as just kind of a final salute, made him chairman of the Joint Chiefs to kind of hold uh, those folks. Uh, but as generals go, uh, one who understands military strategy, he's about as good as we have from the political side. And we had him. Uh, then I, that's one reason I sent him out to to, to Vietnam uh, to work with Westmoreland. So he could still uh, give Westmoreland leadership, but give me some protection on targets and things. And I thought if it was agreeable to you, and if you had the time in the next day or two, that I would like to have him sit down and uh, answer your question that he might not give you proof. I doubt you'd ever accept proof. I mean, uh, that, that what would satisfy him or, or some person of his background might not satisfy you or me. But at least he has uh, uh, the best uh, presentation of it, which I don't think you've had available to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, I... Uh, I think your country needs you right at this particular stage of the affair, and uh, it's pretty hard for me to carry them and y'all too. And I want you to know as much of it as you can, so that uh, I have to spend a minimum of time fighting with you. Well, you we'll have to fight very, very much about about our attack. Oh you? hell, you don't have any idea. You don't have any idea what it costs us. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a, uh, I, I. It, it co fit, a letter of 15 cost me more than 50 planes shot out. They think, uh, they, they think that uh, they're living on it. They're thriving on it. They believe it. They think that this government, uh, that the big problem, see, I think Hole's got some problems that he's liable to break up on. I think it's a good question whether he's in charge or not. Yeah. And uh, he thinks the same thing about me because of Eddie Chainway and Hart <laughs> and the boys from Wisconsin and uh, uh, North Dakota and, you know, the old uh, yeah. the states there. And he, he, he honestly believes that in this country, and I, I don't, uh, I don't.